Hello and welcome back again. Um, this is actually your final session for Microsoft Word. I know you're all happy, but you know we're going to continue with um, other you know Microsoft Office products as well. So you know even though this is your last one with Word, you can always review them, watch the sessions again, and you can even you know look forward to learning about PowerPoint, Excel, and even um, Google um, Drive as well. So you know. Stay tuned for those applications, but you know, before we get there, we got to finish up with Microsoft Word today. So, you know, thanks for coming back. And to wrap it up with Word, we're going to look at several different items, such as you know your, your page layout, how to print documents, and one of the new features within Microsoft Word is actually the ability to open up a PDF document. And then we're also going to look at like inserting photos and things like that within Microsoft Word today. So, you know, I know you're all excited for this, so let's jump in and start looking at, um, you know, these items that we're going to look at today. So, we have Word already started up, and so before we could do anything, you know, we, we're going to look at our page layout. So, we actually have to select the page layout tab. So, we select the page layout tab, and notice that the ribbon changes. And if you look on your left side of your screen, I'll zoom in. Notice that we have, you know, margin, orientation, size, and columns. So we're going to look at all of these today. And with your margins, when you select this option, it's going to allow you to change. And I'm going to zoom out so you can see the entire menu. Notice it tells you your different options of your margins that you can have. And sometimes you might need to play with the margins of your document. So keep this in mind. These are a lot of your default ones. And if you look at the bottom, notice it says custom margins. You can even select this one. And it brings up a new um, option for you. And you can actually put in the custom margins that you wish to have. So, you know, being able to change your margins is a great thing. And as well, sometimes you might want to change the orientation of your paper. So you might want it portrait, you might want to have it landscape. You know, and this is the way your paper appears when you print it out. So portrait is, you know, the normal style that we always, most commonly we use. Landscape kind of rotates at 90 degrees, and so, you know, your text will appear um, that way. And you might want to change this layout within your document as well for when you print it. So let's look at how you can change your layout. It's actually pretty quick and easy, believe it or not. So let's jump back in and see how we can do this. And so as we already mentioned, in the upper, you know, we're already in the page layout tab. So under the orientation, orientation, if you just select it, notice it gives you two options, portrait and landscape. And I'll zoom in and you can see, see as well that the icon actually tells you the way the paper is going to face and how your text is going to appear. So if you want to ch change to landscape, you can just click on landscape. And notice that it kind of changes your layout as well. If you notice the rulers on the top are actually, you know, it's a longer ruler on the top than it was before. So, you know, that's how you can change your orientation. And going back to, you know, portrait is just as easy. You can actually just, you know, click it again and go to portrait and it will go back for you. So as well, sometimes you might want to be using a different size paper. You know, your standard size is 8.5 by 11, but you might want to use legal size, which is your 11 by 17. You know, so you might need to change your paper size as well. Obviously, make sure that your printer will support it. You don't want to, you know, try printing on larger paper if your printer is not going to be able to support it. So let's see how we can change our paper size as well. So let's jump back into Microsoft Word and change our paper size. So to the right of orientation is paper size. And so if we click on this drop-down menu, notice that we have different sizes as well. Um, so we have our legal size, executive, and you can even get other sizes as well, even do envelopes. So if you want to print addresses on envelope, you can actually change it to do that. And it's just as easy as clicking on it and it will just change it for you automatically. You won't really notice much in Microsoft Word um, unless you go to a lot smaller size. So I'm going to, so you can see, I'm going to go to um, 
an envelope. And so notice it really changed the size for an envelope. Um, so you can use this for envelopes and it's a great feature to be able to do because personally I have really horrible handwriting. So it actually provides us with the ability to make sure that things are clean even on envelopes. Um, so another thing we might want to do actually within Microsoft Word within our page layout is actually add columns. You know, you might be making a newsletter and you might want to have multiple columns on your document on one page. So how do we go about doing this? Well, it's just as easy as the other ones that we've looked at already. So we could go back into Word and I'll quickly show you how to change your columns. And first, I'm actually going to bring my paper size back to normal. And so to change our columns, we just click on the columns drop down area, which is to the right of size. And notice it pretty much tells us like, do we want one, two, three, and there's the left and right options so that, you know, the left and right give you unequal size columns. But, you know, you can just select, if you want two columns, just select the number two, and I'll zoom in quickly so you can see the menu in clearer detail. So notice, you know, one, two, three, we have our left and right, and the little icons kind of tell you how they'll, they will appear. So we'll just select a two column view, and then I'll zoom out, and notice the rulers changed. So we have our column here is one column, and then here is another column. So we can actually, when you would type text, it would actually fill up the left column first, and then it would actually move over to your right column. So, you know, it's going to not just go across the page as um, normally you will see it, but it's going to go by column. So it will fill up your first column, then it will fill up your second column. And if you have a third column, then it would fill up the last column. And even though there was like one, two, and three, you can actually go and look at the more column options in that drop down menu, and you can actually make more columns if you wish. So, you know, Microsoft Word's great. It's a great word processor, but sometimes you need to print documents. So let's jump back into Microsoft Word and actually look at how to print documents and different features that we have available to us. And this all resides under our file tab. So if we select our file tab, and then we have to get to our print, which is about halfway down the list. And when we select that, notice it brings up a, you know, a print preview is on the right side, and it brings up all these options for us on the left side. So if we wish to print multiple copies, we could just change the copies, which is your kind of top, kind of middle um, option. And then as well, if you wish to change printers, because some people might have multiple printers installed, you can select, you know, the printer based on here. Um, I don't believe I have, so you can see I do my printer at home and my work printer. So, you know, I, I have multiple printers, so if you want to print to a different printer than the default one, you can select it from this option. And as well, you know, print settings, you can determine what you want to print. So, you know, it, you don't have to print your entire document. Under the settings, you can actually specify, do you want to print one page? Do you want to print a range of pages? And you can fill that in, you know, so just look there and you'll be able to see how you can do it. And as well, another great feature is printing on both sides of your paper. So, you know, it actually saves paper and if you're putting it into like a book or a binder, you know, it's going to have text on both sides. So it actually makes it cleaner and um, takes up less space as well because you don't have to print as much paper. So let's jump back into Microsoft Word and I'll show you where that one is um, as well. So right now you could see that it says print one-sided. If we actually, you know, click on this down menu, notice it says manually print on both sides. This is due to the fact that this printer can't support, um, it's called duplex printing. It can't support it. Some printers can automatically do this for you. And if they do, it will actually let you print manually, um, automatically on both sides, not manually. You won't have to flip it. And as well, you can also change your orientation, size, and margins here as well, if you wish. So, you know, these are your different print options that you have available to you. So keep in mind, you know, you don't want, 
large documents I wouldn't recommend trying this out with. You don't want to waste your paper and your ink. So, you know, just get familiar with it, look at it um, as well. So another interesting feature that we can do within, um, you know, Microsoft Word is actually we can use it, import pictures within our documents. You might want to add something in, spice up your document a little bit. And, you know, Microsoft Office actually lets us um, format the pictures as well. So let's look at this um, and, you know, I'll bring in a picture that I, I took recently. So I'm going to zoom out to make my life a little easier. So we can actually go to insert and notice it says pictures. So we can actually select this option and I'll zoom in and sorry, I quickly went there. It's on the insert tab. So make sure you select your insert tab and then select pictures. So insert tab and then pictures. And so it brings up this option for you and pretty much what we're looking to do is now select our picture. I actually made it easy and I already put it on my desktop. And so I'm going to select the picture and then you can say insert. And notice it brings the picture in. You can resize it. You can make it larger. Um, and as well, notice that we get a contextual tab here for the pictures. A cool newer feature in Microsoft Office is you can actually change the way the pictures um, like appear. So if you hover over, so have your picture selected and you can change the way it appears to you know, the user when you print it out. And we do have a lot of them. So if you click on the, the more arrow, you can see you can even you know, make it a circle. So you have these options to make your pictures appear differently within your document. So keep that in mind that you can format your pictures that they're not how you know, they appear when you insert them. You can change them. You can even um, remove background parts. You can edit them as well within Microsoft Word. Uh, finally, the last thing I want to show you is, believe it or not, you can actually open up a PDF with Microsoft Word now. This provides you the ability to edit the PDF. So as I did with the image, I actually put the PDF on my desktop. Though I will warn you that it does take a little bit of time to open the PDF in Microsoft Word, and the formatting doesn't always work. So keep that in mind that you know the PDF to Word conversion, it does work, though the formatting doesn't always maintain, and so you might have to change the formatting and layout a little bit within Microsoft Word. So let's quickly look at how to do this, um, and then we'll wrap up. So back in Word now, to open a document, we could just go File, and then we just want to open. And then, you know, from my computer, and then we want to go to Browse. And again, it's on my desktop. And then here's the PDF file. I'll zoom in. You can see that it's labeled PDF. So I'm just going to double click this and notice it gives me this window saying that Word will make the document editable. It's going to take a while, um, you know, and it's pretty much that warning that I gave you guys already. So you can click OK and it's just going to go and do it. Um, but, you know, it has the ability to, I'm not going to, um, you know, the end result takes a little bit to do. So I'm not going to like, you know, wait for it to happen. And so, you know, thanks. And, you know, hopefully you've enjoyed these Microsoft Word sessions and hopefully you found them beneficial. So, you know, we'll see you next time.